A tree with unexploded Civil War shells buried inside. A Victorian era framed wreath made of human hair. The very first 3D device. A two-headed calf. And so much more right in Governor. Welcome to the Governor Museum. Here you'll discover the fascinating history of Governor, New York and the surrounding region. Located in the heart of downtown Governor, the Governor Museum houses thousands of artifacts and documents that date back to the early 1800s. Built in 1912, the museum was the manse for the First Presbyterian Church and purchased in 1974 by the Governor Historical Association. Following two years of careful restoration, the Governor Museum officially opened its doors on July 4, 1976, on the 200th anniversary of the United States. The museum's many artifacts are housed in four buildings consisting of the former manse, another building on site, a building at the Governor Fairgrounds, and a one-room schoolhouse. Nine rooms of the main museum building along with the basement are filled with fascinating exhibits. The children's room has toys, games, dolls, and so much more. The military room houses military items from as early as the War of 1812. The music room has instruments from as early as the 1880s. The medical room is dedicated to medical instruments and medical professionals dating back to the 1800s. In the living room, you'll step back in time to a Victorian home in the late 18 to early 1900s. Visitors and volunteers alike conduct research, including genealogical research, in the library. In our basement, you'll see rare and valuable minerals in our extensive mineral specimen collection with over 100 samples from the Governor area. Our mine exhibit embodies the vast talc and zinc mines in nearby Fowler. In the nearby outbuilding, you'll find a variety of artifacts including an early kitchen and a wide array of kitchen items, fire apparatus, tools, and farming implements. Here you'll see the two-man hose cart that was Governor's first fire truck. Our building at the fairgrounds houses interesting items from the Governor and St. Lawrence County Fair. Governor's first seven families settled the area in 1805. The town was originally called Cambrai and renamed in 1809 when Governor Morris, owner of some 90,000 acres from Governor to Morristown on the St. Lawrence River, asked it to be named in honor of his mother, Sarah Governor. Governor is the only community in all of North America with that name. Governor Morris was one of our country's founding fathers and an original signer of the Constitution. Another well-known Governor individual is Bert O. Kinney, founder of Kinney Drug Stores. Yet another familiar name is Edward John Noble, best associated with the Lifesaver Candy, one-time owner of Bolt Castle, and philanthropist, helping to fund three hospitals in St. Lawrence and Jefferson Counties in the 1950s. Rhoda Fox Graves was the first female elected to the New York State Senate. You can learn more about important and interesting Governor people by going to the museum's website. All three floors of the Governor Museum are handicapped accessible thanks to over 120 donors. The museum is located at 30 Church Street in Governor. The museum board of 11 members and many volunteers keep the museum open every Wednesday and Saturday from 1 to 3 p.m. year-round. The museum is always open for individual and group tours at other times by calling 315-287-3193 or sending an email. The museum has free admission thanks to the almost 200 members and generous yearly donations from businesses and individuals who are interested in preserving Governor area history.